Hi guys, welcome back to another Let's Play session at E3 2017 from the Square Enix Presents booth. I'm Eric So from the Square Enix members community team, and we've got special guest, Mr. Rick Malambre. How's it going, guys? Um, so, for those of you who are just tuning in, we have a bunch of E3 demos on the show floor, and we know that not everyone can come to E3, so we're bringing the E3 demos to you. And we're starting off with MXGP. Um, MXGP and MotoGP 17 are two games from a partnership with an Italian video game uh, developer uh, called Milestone. They, they are the premier European racing game developer. We've published MotoGP 16 with them as well as MXGP 2 previously. So these are the latest updates. So we just wanted to give you a couple little tidbits on the game. So the first game we're going to be playing is MXGP 3. It's going to be available on June 20. 20th, so next Tuesday, on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And what's cool about MXGP, uh, from the improvements from the previous game, is the, the graphics are completely overhauled from the ground up using the Unreal Engine 4. There's going to be a ton of customizations. And unlike the first game, or the previous game, uh, they've included two-stroke bikes. I'm not yeah. a... Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of scrubby when it comes to bikes. Like, I just know about Triumph Bonneville's... And I, I used to <laughs> ride a uh, Yamaha Cruiser, and that's the extent of my knowledge with two-stroke bikes. Gotcha. So, so you're a biker guy. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Why are two-stroke bikes so so sexy to you guys? Um, I think it's just, um, yeah. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't have a preference in in terms mm. of two-stroke or yeah, four-stroke, yeah. but uh, it's nice to have that accessible. Yeah. For people who it's do like something with like torque or something. Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit quicker. Mm. Off the gate. Yep. But. Um, cool. So we're going to get into the game. And for the first things we're going to show you is graphics and customization. So if you guys can switch over to the gameplay, please. So our loading screen, um, we're just going to show you a little bit of the customization. I, I had a chance to play around with it earlier um, and make a avatar for Mr. Rick over here. So let's <laughs> check that out. So, boom. <laughs> nickname was Malambo. That's Malambo. the closest thing. I know you got like uh, Malambroski, but yeah. we got a character limit. Uh, and you're from Uruguay. As okay. I can uh, tell from your accent. So, if that is incorrect, please right. go ahead and change it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Team Square Enix. We'll go ahead and go so there's, Italian. Yeah, all right, it's the Italian. And then we're going to ride a Japanese bike. I'm just kidding. We can uh, do a Ducati or something. So you can change skin color, yeah. numbers, font style. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's pretty cool. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and let's check out the bikes. Okay. Oh, actually, actually, can you go back? Yeah. Let's check out the outfits. You want to go to the outfits? Yeah. Let's see what we got. All right. So the customization of this game has been increased dramatically. We've added 30% more official brands over to the MXGP3 and for the official items like accessories and stuff there's over 40% more so you got tons of customizations for helmets uh, the full body suits knee guards everything basically uh, goggles you can run the gamut of customizing your character to your liking it's pretty awesome yeah Let's check out some bikes. All right. GP. Two-stroke. There you we go. Two-stroke. Two stroke. Let's do it. What's your favorite brand of bikes? Uh, well, I, drive, I ride a Jixer, so. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. This guy likes, but, what was it? That's 1,000 cc, yeah? No. Uh, oh, six, we have six, a 600. 600? 600? Okay. Yeah. That's still fast. Yeah. I, I was tempted to get a Ninja. It's like 250 cc's just to put put around yeah. to the office. Yeah. It's still I mean, scary hey. though. Well, yeah. Uh, we don't have enough credit. Uh, okay. We have 10,000 credits. We can still buy a bike. Can we? I think so. Let's see. Let's go to Honda. Let's see. Can I buy it? No. Not enough. All right. Okay. We're gonna ride one of the ones that are readily available right now. Okay. Um. But yeah, just to show you guys some of the customizations. We got the outfits. Um. And we're gonna do a single player race. All right. So. We could have done multiplayer, but 
I, I'm not good enough at racing games, as you guys have seen from some of our previous streams in the office. So <laughs> we had Rick come along to show you guys how to actually do some races. Um, so let's do... Do you want to um, do a regular race? or Have they always had compound in here? I, I think I that's, that's new. that's a new feature. Right? Let's check it out. Okay. Can I select myself? Yes. Yes. There we go. Please do. We'll go with outfit two. Bike selection. Should we show off two? You want to show yeah, off two stroke? Yeah, let's show off the two stroke. Okay. Hopefully we have enough credit. Ah, oh, so know. you do uh, have to. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Which ones are available? Uh, there you go. Or wait, there is two stroke, but just uh, what's the difference? Oh, official bikes. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can get to a. So you have a thousand credits. You should be. Uh, some of those bikes were like ten thousand credits, so it was a little trickier to go buy something. Let's go with the Yamaha. Okay. All right, here we go. Wait, what happened? Uh, did you select it? I thought I did. Okay. Oh, you have to go start. Yeah, you selected bike selection. So oh, okay, there two. we go. Yeah, there we go. Cool. But since we didn't get a chance to buy the bike, um, I just want to talk about the customizations with the bike itself. There's like a ton of customization that you can do for the bar pad, the hand grip, change out the exhaust, change out your tires, disc brakes, wheels and rims, the suspension, handlebars. Oh, you're basically you're gonna free roam. Yeah. So yeah. in the compound, you can do yeah. you can you can just t test out your bikes and roam around and get the feeling of. Uh, I think you can customize the way they handle, right? Yeah. So, allows you to get a little uh, warm yeah, up. Yeah, so in. the reason why we're showing MXGP and MotoGP, I mean, MXGP3 and MotoGP17 is because both games handle very differently. MXGP3 being a little, little dirtier with all these kind of tracks where you can just run around and drift. Um, and then with MotoGP, it's more of the closed circuit, super high end bikes <laughs> with the, uh, the dirt. Not the, the the asphalt tracks. There's a lot more um, movability in, yeah. in, in the way you handle uh, your body and everything in the game too. I think with the right stick you're able yeah. to kind of adjust your lean. Can you do stunts? That I don't think let's, you can. Let's see how much air we can grab. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Are you comfortable now? I think so. You yeah? want to do a race? Okay. Yeah, let's go for a race. All right. Okay, we got we got our E3 warm up. All right, here we go. Single player. Let's do a quick exhibition. So we'll do a quick race from MXGP, <laughs> MXGP, and then we're gonna switch over to MotoGP after this. I think I went into the wrong one. I'll go ahead and pick. Uh... Mm, is it still loading? Yeah. All right. You want to customize anything? I think we're good. Uh, I think we're good. Okay. Team Squeenix. Team Squeenix. Try to get a placement for you. <laughs> <laughs> we should. At least top three. Right. I hope.
How many uh, official tracks are in in the game? Do you know? Oh, uh, let me see. I've got a deck on that. Got. Well, basically, this game has all the tracks from the 2016 season. Yeah. Uh, which covers over. All right. It's over 18 tracks from all over the world. Okay. Covering Europe, the USA, Qatar, Thailand, Argentina, and Mexico. So those are all the tracks leading into the 2016 season up to September. Nice. Have you been to one of these kind of events before? Uh, I have a long, a while yeah. back. Um, I used to be big into motocross. Oh yeah. Back with like Jeremy McGrath. And, oh yeah. And all those guys were. Yeah. That was a nice turn. Took out half the dudes. Yeah. Also, the cool thing about um, them using the Unreal Engine with this, yeah. I think they added a, a lot of deformation. Uh huh. So the more you ride on the track, yeah. the more your your ruts, you start to see uh, more yeah, ruts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're racing these kind of games, are you wanting to follow those ruts or you avoid them? You absolutely do. Okay. Because uh, if you don't, it'll throw you off. It, uh, I see. It's more of like a, it's kind of like when you're in a, a racing game, uh -huh. the uh, race line. Yeah. It's basically the same thing. Okay. But with this, if you don't hit those ruts, it's going to throw you off. Oh, I see. So there's like multiple lines you can take. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so used to like the tutorials of just showing the one line and just following it right. so you can yeah. get better at it. You see that guy doing a stunt? Mm -hmm. It's showing off. Okay, so we're ranked 21. Are we? I think so, yeah. How did I not? I thought I passed a ton yeah. of people. It's hard to when you're playing and talking. It's like when we do our live streams, it was just horrible at the end of the game. <laughs> I'm ch checking chat and like trying to pull up tidbits about our games too. Go. Now we're past yeah, the folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just needed that warm up for those ruts. The handling feels really good. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Like Milestone is really good at making the handling of these racing games feel realistic, but at the same time pretty accessible to the, the fans. Um, we've released a couple games prior to these two, and I was able to pick it up relatively quick. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm still not an expert with these kind of racing games, but it, at least a learning curve for a game like this that has a ton of physics. Sorry, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's relatively easy to pick up and hard to master. Yeah. What difficulty setting? I think it's not normal. I feel like I'm not passing anyone. Or hard, or, or realistic. Oh man, I was paying attention to trying to pass that guy. <laughs> I got a trophy. What? Get back up. Get back up. Never fell. See how you can kind of see more of the ruts? Yeah. As the as the um, race goes on, yeah. the more drive over them. It's pretty cool. I like it. So realistic. And you're getting dirty too with your outfit. You got that custom I am. customization too. I wonder if there's damage. Uh, That's one of the uh. settings, I believe. You take yourself for a swim over there. Mm -hmm. uh. It's okay, you're not in last place. That would be my spot. <laughs> Second to last. <laughs> it's close enough. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> You guys are tough. Yeah, I, I tried to play the demo earlier too, and it was like, uh, I, I might need some help. You're moving up in the world, though. Woo! What, we got one more lap. Yep. Or I'm on the last lap, yeah.
trying to pull something off. I, I wish they had like to... bonus points for like pulling tricks up there. No, don't go out. Oh. At least you can reset it. Now I'm in. Wow. It's okay, you're fine. This is just also... an exhibition, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I also think the name in red mm -hmm. uh, means that he's either a team member of my, that my sponsorship. Team Square Enix? Yeah. No, well, yeah. Um, That's Jen. Either that or I think there's, there's um, in career mode, uh -huh. there's achievements that you have to do. Like, oh, I see. Um, certain things you have to, got it, got so it. I have to beat him, I uh -huh. think. This he's like your arch nemesis, essentially. One of the achievements, yeah. Okay. Well. You're pretty close Which, to him. Hopefully you can catch up. I'm gonna catch up. <laughs> Almost. And That's gonna be our goal. Pass. Uh, nope, nope. Get out of here. There, There's the there, finish. There. There's the finish. <laughs> yes. That was our goal. <laughs> that was our goal. That's actually a great screenshot right there. It's like, you're a Absolutely. <laughs> you did not fail me, sir. We didn't come in last. We didn't come in last. Cool. Um, so next up is going to be MXGP17. Uh, right. Rick is more comfortable on the the, uh, the paved tracks than he is on the dirt. Um, so MX or MotoGP17 comes out. Uh, it are, it's already available on PC. It came out on June 15th. So yes, no, today actually. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then it's going to be available on PS4 and Xbox One on July 11th. So main features of this game. It includes the official 2017 full season with a ton of legendary riders from the, the MotoGP era or world. I know that's got millions of fans there. Uh, it also has a team management and customization system so that you can essentially be the, the guy calling the shots for all of your riders throughout the entire season. Um, there's also online co-op mode, which is going to be pretty cool. We didn't have time to set up for that. But at the very end of the... Uh, the stream, I actually want to talk about the esports. Actually, I'll talk about it right now. So, okay. during the MotoGP season, uh, you can actually play the game and participate in events in this game that allows you to take part of the MotoGP competition. Where, wow, that's cool. So, like, you're actually competing in races in game that allows you to enter a competition to join an entire tournament. Um, if you guys go to MotoGPVideoGame.com slash esports, the full details are over there, and the grand prize at the end of the season will actually win a trip to Europe to see the grand finale of the MotoGP season. Very That's cool. pretty intense. Um, we've done some crazy prizes before. We gave out an island. Now we're giving out a trip. <laughs> <laughs> so head over to that site, MotoGPVideoGame.com slash esports. Um, yeah, so let's check out MotoGP17. All right. Yeah, the customization in this is uh, super in depth. Yeah, I love that you can you can pretty much manage anything mm -hmm. um, from your mechanic to your team's their, your PR, like all that stuff. Um, where do you want to go first? Let's uh, let's check out some of the customization. Okay. So similar to MXGP3, we've got, uh, let's see, portraits, you can pick a sexy face, bunch of dudes, um, and then we got nationality, racing number, this one has a little bit more customization than MXGP because you can do different racing numbers and colors, new nicknames. First player. But in addition to the customization, this game did get uh, some overhauls to improve the performance of it. Um, gameplay and physics, it's now running at 60 FPS. Um, there's an advanced grip simulator, so I think that's going to make for the toggling of the racing a little bit trickier. Uh, and you'll have more control of the bike. Let's see what else do we got there. The AI, it's got improved riding skills. Uh, that's going to suck for me because I'm going to not want a hard AI, but if you uh, are hardcore with this kind of game, that's going to be even better. I dig it. Shoulders out. Let's go. OK. 
customized bike. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo. Can we? That's your bike. No. No. You have a Jigzer. Bam. Uh, that's that's the bike you want. Mm-hmm. I'm too scared to ride these bikes. Look at that all carbon fiber. Yeah. I like it. All right. Do you want to show off uh, the yeah, career let's check stuff? Out, yeah, let's take a quick look at the okay. managerial career. Meet the best of the best. It's insane how big the MotoGP world is. Mm-hmm. Especially in Europe. Yeah. It's huge. Like, 369 million people watch these races every year. Really? Yeah. And wow. I'm just looking at some of their, like, followers on, on Twitter. They got 2 million followers. YouTube, there's a million people following them. Instagram, 3.6 million people following MotoGP. Wow. Have you attended one of these races? Have I what? Have you been to a MotoGP race? I have not. Okay. I've been to NASCAR. I imagine it's similar with the crazy loud bikes. Yeah. It's amazing how fast these guys go. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and confirm it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirm. Team Milestone. Team Milestone. Cool. Congratulations. Okay, team management. This is for like the hardcore guys. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know it's it was. Like, you kind of like set it and forget it. Go ahead and go with that. Yeah. We'll just show a quick overview of this and then uh, let's do another race afterwards. Okay. Are you sure you want to confirm? Yes. I was hoping it'd put us like right into team management where you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can check your emails too. Yeah. To confirm whether you got sponsors. It's extremely like it's deep. Yeah. So we can go to the next week. Okay. Sure, believe that. Here we go. Get us into a race. Here's what this is going to look like. So it's now 60 frames on everything console and PC and yep. all that. Yeah. I feel like you need that for racing games, right? Yeah, I mean, especially with that, the split seconds that you need to uh, make sure you win those tracks. Mm -hmm. And the fluidity of it. Get to a race. And then uh, go to track. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Let's do better than uh, <laughs> MSGP. Second to last. <laughs> Uh, play Valentino Rossi. When you do the tucking in, you go wicked fast, and I totally died like hardcore. It's insane how much leaning these guys do. Absolutely. And at that speed. Yeah. Like
How am I not catching them? <laughs> I think we're playing the game on standard. <laughs> Just to give you a, you know, less of a handicap advantage. Plus, I think this is the beginning of the the uh, career. Right. So you're gonna be kind of like a little slow guy. Yeah. You gotta get those credits to upgrade your bike. Yeah, so in this game, it's kind of like, it has RPG elements of it. There's a skill system, actually. Mm -hmm. So that as you play more of it, you're able to um, increase your rider skills as well as hire new members, like you were mentioning earlier with coaches. Yes. Managers, you can even hire a nutritionist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it takes that, the whole like team management to uh, the nth degree with that. And you level them up. Each yeah, you can level you up level your nutritionist. To ensure that you have a low carb diet. This is crazy. I'm I'm full throttle, and I'm yeah you're, falling so far behind. <laughs> I think the bike might be a little underpowered, but we're trying. There's no arch nemesis in this version. Not yet. Yeah. But there could be. I haven't gotten that deep into the game yet. So you're 3.7 seconds behind. You'll make it up. You got one more lap to catch up. So with the management system, you can actually just be a team manager, or you can do what we're doing right now, which is the riding career, so that you can basically manage and be a part of the racing team. So I know some people prefer to just be the... Behind the scenes? Yeah, behind the scenes, like, management simulator type of the gameplay. Where is everybody? Yeah. <laughs> they won't lap you, though. If your bike isn't that underpowered. No. Yeah, we should have given you a stronger bike, but... Sports component of this game is going to be pretty awesome with that that contest. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, during the entire season, they're going to be giving out challenges where you race against the basically the entire MotoGP uh, player base, and the scoring system is going to be similar to I believe the MotoGP scoring system. I mean, if we wanted to, we could have just done the rewind, which is like kind of a little hack with it. Not a hack, but it's a little um, game enhancement for, for beginners like like myself. I've used that a ton. When you crash? Yeah, when I yeah. crash. <laughs> so it makes the race like five minutes per lap. Because I can't control... The back tires always slip when I, I try playing this game. Oh, can I, can I pull a wheelie? We no? tried. We tried. <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> oh. Uh, that's MotoGP 17. 
coming out uh, on July 11th on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Um, that was that like was he's fun. like, nope. At least we got I don't a trophy. Know what happened. You got to manage your trophy for doing the first ma mission. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, those are our two racing games from MXGP or from Milestone Italy. Uh, M MotoGP comes out as I mentioned earlier. It's available today on PC and it's going to be out on console on July 11th. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, I think that's it. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you.